Hey everyone, I have exciting news. After previously announcing that I had stopped work on Gun Game, I got a bunch of comments expressing disappointment in that decision. Many more comments than I was expecting, in fact. I decided that your comments were a pretty good sign that I had something special that was worth continuing, so I decided that I'm going to pick the project back up. Before I get into what's new, I want to elaborate on the problems that I had with the game previously. The art was kind of ugly. I was really unhappy with the art that I was doing previously for Gun Game. Everything looked kind of murky and unclear, the colors weren't super interesting, and the levels were bland. The random generation was far too complex. I did a video a while back going over the dungeon generation algorithm that I used for the game, and while that algorithm worked pretty well, it still was a lot to maintain. One of my personal issues is that I haven't yet made a game with random generation elements that I thought was fun. This was the case with Gun Game as well. For example, I was convincing myself that more complex level generation with more complex room structures would fix that, but all it gave me was a mess of a code base that I couldn't wrap my head around. I struggled endlessly with bugs and proper room connections, and none of the work I did made the game more fun. The loot generation for the gun parts was also exceedingly complex. I had a system in place that would give each gun part two beneficial stats and two negative stats. Balancing this turned out to be quite difficult, but I also did this balancing before it was necessary. I didn't yet know what was required to balance the game, and yet I attempted to balance it anyway. I should have started making random loot generation that was fun first, and then followed up with tweaks to solve issues arising from that. The dual weapon mechanic had problems. I really liked the dual weapon mechanic I had, which would fill the player's unused gun with ammo when shooting the current gun, but I had major problems balancing the ammo usage and reload rate, and also handling edge cases. Additionally, players could just spam left and right click for max DPS, and I didn't really know how to solve this. And finally, I lost interest. The aforementioned problems made me lose interest in the game. I increasingly felt like I was just managing a sea of complexity rather than building the game, and that wasn't fun for me. It became so bloated that adding new features and experimenting with new mechanics was a huge hassle. So those were the problems I had with Gun Game that ultimately caused me to drop the project. In the meantime, my ability to create fun experiences and nice artwork has improved substantially to the point where I'm ready to give this game another shot. With that, let's dive into the new iteration of the project. What you see here is a very bare-bones recreation of what I had previously. I'd say I'm already about 50% to feature parity with the old project, just with this tiny area built. Unfortunately, because of the new direction I had for the game, there was very little that was salvageable from the existing codebase. Rather than be constrained by the code I had previously written, I decided instead to rebuild the game from scratch. So what changes have I made compared to the most recent devlog? For one, the art is bigger, clearer, and has more contrast. I think it really pops now. I simplified my animation style from using rigging to using simple cutouts. The enemies in the player are composed of two body pieces, the head and the torso, as well as hands and feet. The hands are automatically attached to the gun, so I don't need to animate those. And the feet are procedurally animated, so I can reuse them across all kinds of enemy types. This should greatly reduce my overhead to creating new enemies. I also made killing enemies more fun. Instead of a stilted, handmade death animation that was poorly animated, the enemies now explode into bloody parts. Much better. The dual weapon mechanic now works great. The ammo capacity indicator is clearer, as well as the reload mechanic. This seems far more intuitive to me. I also fixed the mouse button DPS spam issue by simply requiring the gun's fire cycle to complete before switching to the other gun. My approach to randomization is greatly simplified. Rather than using a somewhat complex dungeon generation algorithm, I have a pool of rooms that are scattered throughout the level. I can give the impression that these rooms are close together by doing some trickery with the camera. Overall, placing pre-made rooms around the map and far from each other is really simple and doesn't require complex logic. We'll see how this system works as development continues, and it's possible I may revisit this system in the future. Enemies now spawn when you enter a room, and the rooms serve as contained areas. Previously, the player was free to wander the level and kite enemies. That system didn't feel great, so I think taking a more traditional approach to roguelike levels and arenas 
will work great. Obviously, I have a lot of work to do still. Some of my outstanding tasks are loot randomization. Previously, loot would drop on the ground and enter the player's inventory. This system not only added complexity, but presented too much useless micromanagement. My plan is to make gun parts more akin to treasure that is rarer. I also want to force the player to make a decision in the moment whether they want to use a part or discard it. Bosses. I have yet to add a boss in the current version, but I've set up my architecture such that this will be pretty straightforward. In the previous video, the big boy boss was a simple rat enemy scaled up. I want to take the time to make the rat boss visually different than the others instead. Damage calculations. Guns in this version don't yet have a damage stat, and I'm missing the nice floating numbers that made the game feel punchy in the previous version. Currency. I wasn't planning on adding a currency item when I was working on the game previously, but now that I plan to change the loot system dramatically, I figured I'd need a way for the player to have more opportunities to acquire gun parts. Therefore, I'm going to add something like scraps that can serve as currency to be used in a variety of ways across the game. The most obvious use case is adding a shop, but I also think adding some gambling minigames would be really fun. I have more thinking to do on this, but that's what I've decided on so far. That's it for my plans to radically overhaul the game. I appreciate everyone that expressed interest in Gun Game, and I'm happy to be back to working on it with a fresh vision and focus. I'm going to try really hard to keep everything tight, and to not implement any features without a clear reason for doing so. If I can keep the game simple and fun, I'll be able to finish it. I'll also be doing less frequent devlogs until I am more or less at feature parity with the previous version of the game, because I don't want to be too redundant with my cover. What do you think? Leave a comment below with your feedback and ideas. I'd especially love to hear your feedback about the art style that I've gone with and any suggestions you might have there. That's it for this devlog. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe. If you want to learn how to build a 2D platformer in the Godot engine, check out my Udemy course. Link in the description. If you want to support my work, you can pick up one of my games on Steam or itch.io, links in the description as well.